Although I, I don't know about the rest of you, I am tired of the fiscal cliff. And I know that's something we don't want to go over, but I just uh, I'm tired of hearing about it. And the make, best way to make sure that we don't go over it and that we can stop hearing about it is to actually figure out how do we get into this situation and maybe how can we get out of it. In the Navy, when we uh, used to uh, tell people, we like telling them the truth, the straight truth. We always call it the uh, straight skinny. So let me just share with you a little bit of straight skinny. We're in this uh, predicament right now because the Congress and the President have been unable to agree over the last several years on our deficit reduction plan that actually puts us back on a fiscally responsible path, made more difficult by the worst recession in, in, uh, since the Great uh, Depression. We have the we face the prospect of, on January 1st of significant increases in tax code as the tax code reverts to what it was in 2001. And we also have the prospect of further deep cuts in defense spending and what's called discretionary domestic spending uh, that, uh, that would affect adversely affect a bunch of programs I think most people think are good, including education, transportation, uh, safety, public safety programs, that sort of thing. The, uh, as it turns out, Somebody's been doing a fair amount of work on figuring out how to avoid going over this cliff and it started about two years ago. Uh, deficit, create, deficit commission created by the president, led by a fellow named Erskine Bowles, Democrat led by uh, Alan Simpson, Republican, came up with, I think, a pretty good plan uh, for the next four to five, uh, for the next 10 years to reduce the deficit by anywhere between four and five trillion dollars. Democrats agreed to uh, entitled pro entitlement program reform, which helps us reduce the cost of some of our of our uh, health care uh, costs like Medicare and Medicaid, tries to put the Social Security on a, a sound uh, path for the next 75 to 100 years. And the next thing that we do is we'd raise uh, some revenues so that historically, which historically we've had revenues is about a, oh gosh, 20, 21, 22 percent of gross domestic product is down right now to about 15 or 16 percent. But the idea would be get it up closer to the uh, level of 20 percent of uh, gross domestic product, which is where we were when we had a balanced budget. Hope you'll uh, take a minute to look at what we have to offer. It's a straight skinny. Thanks so much.